Well, it's unfortunate that we use that term because it is an academic term that confuses people. I don't like the term, but really what it's about is about the various government capitalist policies that have been used uh, to maximize uh, the incomes of the wealthiest 1% and their institutions, the corporations, the banks, and so forth. You know, how have they done this uh, massive income redistribution and income inequality? Uh, how has it been pulled off? Hello. You know, that's really the question. How has it been pulled off? Well, you got to look at what's called monetary policy. In other words, the central bank and its interest rates and how it uh, gives trillions of dollars uh, to banks and big businesses. You know, they've just done it again, $3 trillion since March. Uh, that's part of it. Uh, so uh, fiscal policy, you know, why is it since uh, George W. Bush, we've given $15 trillion in tax cuts to businesses and corporations and investors? You know, how did that happen? Uh, also, uh, industrial policy. You know, why are the have the unions been destroyed and what's been the consequence of that? And why are pensions almost non-existent anymore? Why is the minimum wage not rising, etc.? And then finally, trade policy, uh, which is a little bit more complex, you know, global, uh, which is really all about how the U.S. capitalists um, uh, keep their competitors and economic allies in line uh, and make sure that uh, they remain, uh, you know, the dominant force globally here using the U.S. dollar in the international payment systems and all the other tools they have. So those four areas, fiscal, monetary, industrial, trade, uh, are really the tools, the tools uh, that the wealthy 1% and their paid for politicians uh, use uh, to extract more and more wealth from the rest of us uh, for themselves and also from their competitors uh, around the world and to make sure the American economic empire remains dominant. You know, so it's neoliberalism really is about policies, you see, mm -hmm. and about the people it benefits and how they pull them off. And the objective is to redistribute income to the wealthy. Uh, it's not about these academic ideas, you know, about the efficient markets and all that other nonsense, you know. Um, so I wrote this book even though I don't like the term neoliberalism, you know, uh, we used to call uh, what what's called neoliberalism. We, we used to call it, uh, you know, uh, class conflict and class struggle. <laughs> uh, yeah, in, in that sounds world. more relatable, actually. Yeah, and uh, imperialism on the international stage. So what what's class struggle and imperialism? We used to call, uh, you know, the academics sort of obfuscate, cover it up, and call it neoliberalism. You know. Uh, that's why I don't like it. Sounds it. nicer. Yeah, and that's why I, I wrote this book to try to clarify what it's really about. To hear the rest of this show and more, go to This Is Revolution Podcast. Find us at Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, Spotify, Podbean, and wherever else you get your podcasts. This is Revolution.